Welcome back to part two of our video tutorial where we are making ourselves a magazine cover. As you can see, this is where we got up to in part one. We've got a nice big heading up the top here known as the masthead. We've also got our main image and we've got our barcode. If we zoom in, you'll also see the price and the issue number. Okay, so things are looking pretty good. The next thing that we're going to add in is this little puff down here in the bottom right hand corner. A puff is just an incentive to buy the magazine, so we've got a free poster inside. So let's start by drawing ourselves a circle. So I'm going to zoom in on this section down here. You've got your shapes tool over here, you've got rectangles and whatnot. We're going to choose the ellipse. Now for the fill color, just leave it as red, stroke color. Leave it as red. We're going to change you can change to another color if you want, but we're going to change them in a minute anyway. Just draw for me a circle down the bottom there somewhere. You can use your move tool to move it a bit. If you think it's too small or too big, feel free to resize it as well. Um, but basically, that's the size we're looking for. So something similar to this. Now, to get these colors right, what we're going to do is we're going to double click over here in the empty space next to shape one. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put on a stroke. Okay, a stroke is a border. And the color we want is the color in your shirt here. So that maroon kind of color. So just click on that maroon color, click OK. And you've now got that maroon color as your stroke. Now the stroke can be a little bit thicker than three pixels. Uh, bump it up a bit. Let's try 10 pixels for now. And we also want to do a color overlay. At the moment the color is red, so if we click this red box and we want to choose the blue kind of color we see in his jersey. Okay, so something like that. Click OK and click OK and you've now got your circle drawn. I think that stroke could be a little bit thicker. I'm going to go up to say 15. Yeah, 15 pixels looks pretty good. So I'll click OK on that. Now we just need to add some text inside of there. So the first bit of text we're going to add in is the word free. So I'm just going to write the word free in capital letters. Now the font we're going to use here is Molot. So that's the same as our big heading at the top. And the size can be a bit bigger. Uh, I'm going to go, I'll try 185. See if that fits inside my circle. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Nice, big and bold. We just need to change its color. So just double click on it to highlight it and change it from black. Click on the gold here. So you've now got gold text. And that contrasts nicely with the background, but still sticks with the Brisbane Lions color theme that we're using. After the word free, we're going to add in some more text. So use your type tool. Just click anywhere for now to type this in. We're just going to write Brisbane Lions. Now the next line, poster inside. Now you need to highlight that text and change its color to white, or even just off-white. Uh, the font that we're going to use is Monda. So search for Monda. And we're going to use size 90. Let's see if that fits. I just realized I wrote that wrong. So we need to change this because I had caps lock on. Brisbane Lions poster inside. Now I'm going to highlight that text and I'm going to center align it. Then I'm going to stick it down inside that circle. That looks pretty good. Now just to capture the audience's attention a little bit more, I'm going to put some stars across the top here. So I'm going to zoom in a bit closer. Now to put in stars, we need to go down to our shapes tool again and choose custom shape. And it will load in some custom shapes for you up in the top here in your properties bar. I'll just take a moment to load them. I'm going to search for the word star. You get all these different stars you can use. I'm just going to choose this first one, which is a solid star. The fill color. Oh, let's just leave them as they are for now. We're going to change them in a minute. Let's just draw a star on the page. I hold shift when I draw it so it doesn't to form like that. If you hold shift when you draw a star, it comes out perfect. 
and you'll see down here shape 2 is your star so I'm going to double click in that space next to shape 2 and in my layer styles here I'm going to change my stroke which is my border and I'm going to choose this gold color that we used before for the text and I'm going to choose a color overlay so the color of my star I want it to be that maroon color that we used from his jersey click OK click OK and we have a star drawn it's just hiding behind a few layers at the moment so let's bring it up and that looks a bit better the stroke is too thick though so I'm going to click back on shape 2 here double click in the empty space go to my stroke and drop that from 15 pixels down to something like oh, what are we going to use 1, 2 I'm going to use size 2 click OK that doesn't look too bad Okay. Once you've got one star in, using your move tool, hold Alt, click and drag a second star off to the right hand side. Hold Shift and resize it to make it a bit smaller. Something like that looks pretty good. I'm then going to hold Alt again and drag another little star out over to the other side. Okay, now we want them to basically start and finish where the word free starts and finishes as well. I'm then going to do something a little bit tricky here. I'm going to hold shift and click on all three of those stars so they're all selected. And up the top of my properties is this button just here, equal gaps. If you click that, it will space those three stars out equally. I also want to click on this middle button here to center them. Actually, no, this end button here, align bottom edges. Okay, so the bottom tips of the stars are all perfectly in line with one another now. Okay, so those three stars look pretty good there. What I'm going to do is highlight them again, all three of them, hold Alt, and just drag down to get a second copy of them stars and put it at the bottom of the page. Okay, now the thing I'm going to do while I've got them selected still is press this button here, align top edges, just push those two little stars up so now the top points of the star are all in line with one another. Okay, that looks pretty good. They're just a little bit bunched up with the text there at the moment, so I'm just going to move them down. These ones can probably sneak up a little bit. There we have it. We've got our puff added in. That looks pretty good. If you think those stars are a little bit big, feel free to just hold shift and resize them. I think they are a little bit big on mine, that's why I'm going to give them a quick resize. Now I think the quick way to do these next ones is just copy and paste these again by using that alt trick. I know there's a bit of mucking around here, so you don't have to go into as much detail as me, but there we go, that looks pretty good now. I'm pretty happy with how that puff looks. So we've got our free poster inside. That leaves us with just the cover lines, I think, to add. Okay, so up the top here, let's do these three cover lines first. So AFLW and all that stuff, let's put them in. So we need to grab our type tool and we need to click in this empty space up the top here. Now the heading is going to say AFLW. So let's write in AFLW, highlight it. We need to change the color of it. I'm going to choose that blue that we used just before. And I'm going to change my font. I'm going to choose that font glacial indifference again. And I'm going to make it bold this time. So instead of regular font, I'm going to make it bold. And just move it across into position. Um, I'm going to copy that by holding Alt and dragging down. This one's going to say the words top five. I think this text is a bit big actually. I'm going to drop it down from 180 to about 130. We're not going to fit everything in otherwise. We want all these headings the same size just to be consistent. After top five, the last one we're going to put in is 2021 draft. Okay, so we'll position them nicely in just a moment. What we're going to put in next is a bit of text that goes underneath them to explain what these cover lines are all about. So this one's going to say, how will new, oops, can't spell, new clubs perform? Now I'm going to highlight that 
little section of text and I'm going to make it almost black and change it from bold to regular and I'm going to change my size to about 80. Okay, I'm also going to I'm going to probably right align it. So use your align tools here to push it to the right so it goes down the right hand side of the page. Okay, so AFLW, how will new clubs perform? Then we've got top five and I'm just going to copy that black text there and put in some text that will say we rank the top five oops, it's not top properly top five players of all time and then copying that black text one more time we're just going to say the hot new talent all right, so now we've got to just get these positioned nicely so we can read all of that text. Okay, at the moment I can't read this bottom section because it's on his shoulder. So let's just nudge these up a little bit. Probably a little bit too crowded there. So if we can space them out, then we'll do so. There we go, that doesn't look too bad. So now we've got in a few little cover lines down that side. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Now to put in the main cover line. Okay, we've got this big gap here for the main um, cover line, which relates to the main image on the page. So let's grab our text tool, and we're going to write King of the Jungle. Now this is, again, in a different font that we haven't used yet. So let's write in King of the jungle. I'm going to highlight it. We're going to make it pretty big. We're going to go up to about size 280 here. And I'm going to change my font to one called Bulby 1 SC. Okay, let's take a second to label. It's a nice thick font that will look pretty good as a main headline. It's going to push that over to the side. It looks like it's going to fit in fairly well just where it is there. I'm going to double click next to the word King of the Jungle here and adjust a few settings. We're going to put in a pattern overlay. And we've got this pattern here, this yellowy one that pretty much comes in by default, which I think looks pretty good. I'm just going to scale it up though. Okay, so you can really see the pattern inside of it. That looks good. I'm going to put a stroke around it too, which is a border. And I'm going to choose that maroon color that we have been using throughout. And I'm going to make its size a bit bigger. So it's just a matter of dragging this lever and seeing what looks good. 10 pixels is all right. Um, yeah, I might leave it as 10 pixels. So that's going to say King of the Jungle. Click OK. Now, one other thing I'm going to do is just condense that text a little bit by going to the CHA, which is the character panel just here, and playing with the letting, which is the amount of space between each line. If you just start holding shift and pressing up, and try and work out how big we want it. Probably something around 315 pixels looks good. Okay, I guess it's not too much different to what we just had, but I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we're going to put in some more text below that. Okay, so just grab your text tool and click below it. And this time we're going to use the Glacial Indifference font again. And it's going to be regular at size 85. Now this font is, or well, this text is going to say, let's see if it starts typing for me. Um, make sure caps lock is turned off. Lucky Neil's dream of winning a premiership Oops. with the young Brisbane Lions. Now you can see that there's a huge amount of letting or spacing between that text. If we click auto, it'll probably fix that up nicely. I'm going to change the regular font style to bold. Using my move tool, I'm just going to bring that up so we can still read all of that text. That's not too bad. 
probably a little bit too big still, so I might just bump that size down about 80. And that way I can read all the text still quite easily. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, one other thing I'm going to add in here is something that says exclusive interview just above King of the Jungle. Okay, these are some buzzwords to try and suck our viewers in. So I might put a rectangle in first actually. Now this rectangle is going to be, I'll just draw it first actually and then we'll, whoops, and then we'll change the colors. Rectangle can go just above the word king. Now we're going to double click on shape three here and we're going to change the stroke to that maroon color which it's already set as and a color overlay we're going to change as well. It's not going to be that maroon, it's going to be that blue color that we've been using. Click OK. Now the stroke size I just realized oh, it's not too bad. We'll click OK and that should work. So we've got this box here ready for us to write exclusive offer inside of. So I don't click straight inside of it. I just click off to the side to start with. With caps lock on, exclusive offer is what I want to write. Now the font that we're using is Glacial Indifference. The size, I'm going to drop it back to about 70. And the color, just an off white. Use your move tool to just move that into the box there. Might need to make that box a little bit smaller actually. It's a little bit too big. There we go. So we've now got an ex oh, it's not an exclusive offer, it's an exclusive interview, isn't it? There we go. So that means I need to make that box a little bit bigger again now. There we go. So that's looking pretty sweet now. So we've got our exclusive interview with King of the Jungle, Lockie Neal's dream of winning a premiership with the Young Brisbane Lions. All right, if we compare that with that one, they are pretty similar. So I'm happy with how that has turned out. One last thing we might do, if we select all this text over here. Yeah, it's not working like I wanted it to. So I've selected Inside Football, I'll select King of the Jungle, and this bottom one here, what's it called, um, Lucky Nails, there it is. I'm going to hit this Align Left Edges button, so they all line up perfectly with one another down the left hand edge of the page. Looks like there's an invisible margin there now. Okay, you can do the same with this exclusive offer if you wanted to. Just nudge it across. I was moving Lockie Neal then as well. I'll move him back. All right, so I think we are looking good. I'm happy with that. So there's two ways to save your work now. If you are finished with it, you know you don't want to make any more changes, then you need to go to File, Export As, and choose JPG, which is JPEG. And you just need to save that into your account. The quality, I'd probably bump it up. Um... 100% is probably going to make it a bit too big, 4 megabytes, so turn that down. 90% is not bad, about a megabyte in size. 80% is probably ideal. So I'm going to go with 80% quality. Click Save. And that goes straight to your Downloads folder. So you will have to get it out of your Downloads folder and just um, move it across to your Media Arts folder. If you wanted to come back to this and still work on it, and have access to all these different layers here that we've been playing with, then you'll need to go to File and Save as PSD. Okay, that way you can reopen it later on and you'll have access to all these layers and you can adjust all the text and whatnot. But because we saved it as a JPEG image before, if we were to open that up again, everything would be locked into place and we couldn't um, adjust it any further. All right, so that is how you create yourself a magazine cover using Photopea.